Good afternoon, everybody. I, sh- I could say Chag Sameach. It's coming up right now. The holiday of Tu Be'av. What is the holiday is all about? The, the holiday of Tu Be'av. The Gemara is telling us that when Am Israel were complaining about the, the, in the desert, about every single thing, Kadosh Baruch was very upset about these complaints. And he said, I guarantee that this generation of the desert is not going to come to Eretz Israel. Bamidbar Yamutu, they will die all of them in the Midbar. Now, how many years they were in the Midbar, in the desert? Forty years. So when was that happening? Every Tisha Be'av, they used to dig their own graves. And 15,000 people are not coming up back from the graves. You believe that? 600,000 men are digging graves. Each one goes inside. In the morning, he doesn't know if he's going to be the one out of the 15,000 or no. Every year, they get up 15,000 less. Next year, Tisha B'Av, 15,000 less. Next year, Tisha B'Av, 15,000 less. Until the last 15,000. Came the 40th year. Amul Aaron, what happened at the last 40th year? They went inside the graves. When they came up in the morning, They arrived. They thought maybe today is not Tisha B'Av. Maybe we made a mistake. Continue tomorrow. Say again. Wake up in the morning. Say, what? Two days we made a mistake. Maybe tomorrow is Tisha B'Av. They go a third time. Until they come to the 15th of Av, which is Tu Be'Av. And then they said, ah, it can't be that we made such a big mistake. A day or two you can make a mistake. Six days, not going to make a mistake. They said, what made them understand that six days they cannot make a mistake? Maybe they made a mistake six days. It says, because the moon on the 9th of Av is not full. But on the 15th of Av, it's full. So they say, the moon is big, it's full. It can't be that it's Tisha B'Av. Must be that HaKadosh Baruch Hu forgave Am Yisrael. Ask the Mepharshim, why for 40 years, every year everybody goes inside the grave, 15,000 people dies. Split 600,000 by 40 years, is 15,000. Every year, 15,000 people are not getting up. Why Akadosh Baruch had to forgive them at the last 15th year, 15,000? Why couldn't he forgive the one before? The two, three, 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 four, five times before. Why Dafka the last one? So I saw beautiful Perush. It says every year, when a person used to go inside the grave, what did he say? He prayed to Hashem, Hashem, Ashkivenu avinu le shalom ve'amidenu malkenu le'chaim tovim ul shalom. Right, that's the song we're singing. This is the phrase he used to pray. This is the prayer he used to say. Please, Hashem, let us go. Ashkivenu, let us go sleep. Be'shalom ve'amidenu malkenu. Let us get up. Be'shalom. He says, but why only the last year HaKadosh Baruch Hu answered them? He says, every year, a person was praying to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem, Ashkivenu avinu le shalom. Please, Hashem, let me go sleep. Beshalom and get up. Beshalom. But he said, the last year, every year, before the last year, every person said, I'll say it. But really, it's not going to happen to me. It's going to happen to him. It's going to happen to him. I saw him the other day. He's speaking Lashon Arad. This guy the other day didn't give tzedakah. This guy the other day didn't come to Shaharit. So to me, it's not going to happen. I can not speak everybody singing. I'm also singing. But it was not from the bottom of the heart. It says, came the last year, the last 15,000 left. Now they're going inside Tish Tisha Be'av. They already know there is no chance it's going to happen to somebody else. Who is the only ones that are on the line right now? They are. So I said, this time they pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, From the bottom of the heart, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, If we are the only one, that's it. If we're going inside the grave, we're going to all die. So now they prayed with Kavana. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, now nah, you're praying with Kavana. Now nah, I'm going to answer you. That's a rabotai, how important it is for a person. When he's coming to pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he didn't say, Rabbi, I prachital. Everybody else read, I also read. Why I got a problem? He didn't get a problem. The answer is, rabotai is, prachital. Question is, you read it, but to what degree from the heart did you read it? Did you read it just to read it, or did you read it because you wanted to pray from the bottom of your heart to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? Says rabotai that every year, every year, the same power that was by Amim Ahim, repeats by Zeman Azeh. That's when you say, She'asa nisim la'avotenu bayamim ahem bazemana ze. The same miracles that was once in history in a certain period of the year, the same power repeats itself again at that period of the year. Therefore, 
this period of the year, the 15th of Av, Tu Be'av. What was the power of Tu Be'av? That people were not dying. So people got Seliha from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Person has a relative, Lo Alenu, he's doing not so great. When is the best time of the year to pray for his refuah shelemah that he should not die? Tu Be'av. Tonight, right now, Arbit. Right now we're going into Arbit. Tomorrow, Shaharit and Minha, you have three prayers of the Tu Be'av. Not only that, says the Gemara that there was another custom that at that time, 15th of Av, that all the Jewish boys and girls used to go outside and look for Shiduchim. It was allowed back in the day that women should go outside, show them themselves in a modest way, and the boys used to start talking and they used to be making a Shiduchim. What's the reason it happened in the 15th? Why you made a, a single event in the 15th of Av? Why it didn't happen any, time, any other time of the year? So says Rachamim for the same reason. There was a problem with Shevet Binyamin. If you remember in history, Shevet Binyamin did a terrible thing. And because of that, all the Jewish nation abandoned them. They said, no more. We're going to put a ban. Nobody is allowed to get married to them. When was that ban removed and they became permitted to one another? Amul Aaron, when, was it, when did it happen? So in the Tu Be'av, the power of getting engaged to find Shidduch from Shebet Binyamin with another Jewish people, it happened, Jew with another Jew. That same power repeated itself as Chachamim every single year. So now, now, right now, many of you, Baruch Hashem, are married, thinking, Rabbi, this Divrei Torah, it's needed for the young generation. <laughs> but for me, I'm already married, Baruch Hashem. Habibi, don't think that the fact that you married, it means that you stay married. In order to stay married, you also need a lot of zechuyot. You need a lot of prayers. Tomorrow my, my wife should not become devona. Suddenly she says this thing. Suddenly she wants that thing. Hello, what are you talking about? A person needs uh, requests from HaKadosh Baruch Prayers to Hashem, Hashem. I am married, Baruch Hashem. Uh, please, Hashem, give me zechut to stay married until 120 b'shalom with my wife. Another person says, Rabbi, I have shalom with my wife. And I also pray to continue to have shalom with her. But Johnny Akesh, you have children. Tomorrow you want your children to get married to people that they are going to be normal, coming from normal families. They are going to be successful in their marriage. So it's not only for the power of prayer, of shiduch, of yourself, of your wife, to yourself, to you. It's also the power of praying for the future generation, success in the shiduchim. When is the best time of the year to pray for this success, Rabotai? To be av. Therefore, Rabotai, take an, an extra minute in the prayer, at least, if not more than that, to pray for a fuah shelema of sick people that you know, that they should not die. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Rahmanut on them. It says, Rob Cholim Lechaim. Oh, majority of the Cholim, they get up to be Chaim. They get up back to life. Our prayers, Rabotai, is going to be extra powerful in the Tu Be'av for the success of longevity for people, for success of fuah shelema, and for success of finding one each other's soulmate, they stay married, and by that Hashem, our future generation also should find their soulmate and to stay married the rest of their life. Baruch Adonai Amen, Amen, Rabbi Hanani.